UT football fans who attended tonight's gathering at Inverness got to check out the Rockets' new uniforms. There's a little less gold on these jerseys, but boy, they do look sharp. Truth be told, though, the jerseys aren't the focus right now in college sports. Yesterday, various reports came out that Nebraska was leaving the Big 12 for the Big 10. Today, Colorado officially left the Big 12 for the Pac-10. More Big 12 teams are expected to bolt, whether it's to the Pac-10, the Big 10, or the SEC. And all this could eventually affect Toledo and the MAC. It, time is changing. I mean, it's just a, it's kind of a, I don't, don't want to say a chaotic time in college athletics, but it really is. Michael Bryan's in charge of everything dealing with Toledo athletics, so he's paying extra attention to all the realignment talk. Could it get into the MAC? There's a possibility, but uh, I just don't know as of today. It's totally dependent upon the dominoes from the other leagues, whether it be the Big East, uh, through Conference USA, you know, it's just, it's totally dependent upon uh, how many schools they've got in the Big 12, and so there's still, uh, uh, there's still some possibilities out there as far as, as far as Conference USA and, and, and uh, the MAC, but at the same time, it's, it's still a little early until we know. Whether or not teams leave the MAC is one thing. What's more likely is a possible hit to the pocketbook. Toledo football's profited the most when they played BCS teams like Ohio State. UT uh, received all of the ticket revenue from that game, and then we just simply repay the game next year when we go to Columbus in 2011. The scheduling could become a little bit more difficult because those uh, they're called, being called super conferences now with 16 teams, 14 teams, what have you, will play more conference games, obviously. And so that could uh, cut back on some of our non-conference games. Those uh, uh, 1A teams still need to play people. But uh, maybe just not as many as the normal four-game non-conference schedule in, per year. Sure, it's a concern, but at the same time, I don't think it's a reason to panic either because uh, we're still going to schedule uh, the very best we can uh, no matter how many games that can be scheduled non-conference-wise. O'Brien says MAC Commissioner John Steinbrecher has done a good job communicating with the different teams, but he admits he's not sure if all this movement is good overall. I don't know if it's great for our business, but... Uh, uh, time will tell, um, and it's going to—it's—it's it's going to happen very fast. It's going to be a very interesting summer. And it starts with the next few days, when it might become at least a little clearer as far as which teams going where.